And our goal in this video series is to turn the heart of the adult church toward young people. First of a series where we identify the current pictures that we think with right now, that our culture taught us to think with, and then replace those pictures with pictures that match more closely the mind of Christ. And Jesus said, from the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so if you listen to what the church says, you'll hear this picture. And it usually starts this way. Judah, our sinner, God, on the right side, he's obviously then on the wrong side, but God loved the world so much that he sent his only son. And his only son came and made a bridge so that now Judah can go to God. And so I turn to my friend Judah and I say, Judah, come to Jesus. But he won't come. Now I care about Judah. He's my friend. And so at first I'm sad that he, he won't come to Jesus. But over time, I begin to get a little bit grumpy about Judah. And so I turn to him and say, Judah, you need Jesus bad. You need to come to Jesus now because you're ruining your life and your family and you're ruining the country and we're going to take back America from you. And it doesn't take much for our voice to begin to get pretty shrill. And what's happening in my heart, folks, is I'm beginning to promote myself upward. And so what I want to offer you then is a different picture. Judah, according to Ephesians, is not separated from God by sin. He is in the chasm of sin. And he is completely in it. And Scripture says he is a slave to it. And so he is chained to that sin. And he is dead in his sin, Paul says. And so that is our sinner's state. And that God did not sit passively hoping we would come to him. God came to us. And he calls us out of our death into life. He takes the chains off of us. He defeated sin in his death on the cross. And he goes farther than that because he gave to us his righteousness. He took our sin on himself. He took our chains on himself. And he took our death on himself. So that Judah could live. The terrifying part of this is Judah, is the beginning of that passage that we just read. Judah, let your mind be like that of Christ Jesus, who was willing to make himself nothing. And so do you understand that my willingness here to promote myself upward above the unbeliever is exactly the opposite of the heart of Christ to be willing to come and make himself nothing for us. Your adult congregation can no longer say, oh, we hope those young people will come to us after graduation. We are compelled by Philippians 2 to leave and engage them as a younger generation.